people, and welcome back to part 24 of Eggenborough, our City Skylines 2 build. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, it has been a hot minute uh, since we've done an Eggenborough episode. Uh, since, well, we haven't really done anything since we did the custom train station, have we? Which was a bloody long time ago now, wasn't it? Uh, but we are back. I definitely don't want to abandon this city. Even though it has ran into some issues, transitioning from Thunderstorm mods to Paradox mods, but... We should be able to be okay, I think. <laughs> we should be alright. But what I want to do today on the return to Eggenborough is to continue to build out Bourbon. Um, so previously in recent episodes, we've kind of orc zoned this whole area here. And I'm not particularly happy with it. It's mainly here to just bring population in, but there's a mix of European and American, which I don't mind mixing the two styles, but it's not been particularly well executed here, I don't think. Uh, so basically from I think this junction here and everything basically north of the elementary school I think is going to be ripped out because I want to put some new infrastructure in here. So well, let's get rid of it. So that dezones all of those blocks, which should. Yeah, there we go. There's now frames might drop a little here. <laughs> We've just had a lot of Sims all of a sudden leave their homes, and they're all pretty confused, aren't they? I don't think they really know what to do with themselves. But uh, either way, we'll let them find their own way in life. Because right? I'd just like to, I think, just rework the road hierarchy through here. So I think I just want more. Kind of four-lane American chunkiness, to be honest, I think is the best way to word it here. Um, so we can't really bring it through here, can we? So where do we actually arrive up to this way? Oh, there's some weirdness happening there. Ignore the graphical glitching. So we could bring up a four-lane through this way. This one goes into the university, doesn't it? Would involve a slight restructure here, though, but I think we can do it. We were to budge you over a little bit. And we do have anarchy, so we can force this indeed if we want. The so four lane should be fine through there, and then that should just upgrade for the rest of the district, I think. That's fine there, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. And then I want another four lane to run probably from this one as well. And you can see here where we've done <laughs> to some... Uh, I'm testing with the new Move It, uh, which we do have installed. Um, how much we're going to use it, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I guess we'll find out as the series goes on. Uh, yeah, and then this road through here. Um, so this junction probably wants to be reworked. Let's go ahead and upgrade you into four lane as well. Cool. So I'm not enormously bothered about broken zone in here. But um, I certainly just want more wider roads coming through. So we'll leave that for right now. It's likely we'll rework this in our detail in time lapse, but at least it's connected in for the time being. Although having said that, this road isn't really straight, is it? But I can I can live with that. It's okay. Um, so there is an asset. Let's start trimming back some of these roads over here that I'd like to use. Uh, so I want to get another tourist attraction into the city today. Uh, we did mention it when we built our uh, central park that I would like this over here somewhere. But I'd also like to come up with anarchy as well. Would like this to sit sensibly. So the National, what's it actually called? National Gallery of Art is um, a very nice asset. And as much problems as CS2 has at the minute, it has to be commended for its impeccable asset design. It's uh, it's really different level compared to the unique buildings of CS1, isn't it? And all these people that have just been evicted from their homes. <laughs> now all... We'll going to the National Art Gallery. But don't worry everyone, we've replaced your three bedroom apartment with a painting and enjoy it. Uh, cool, so we got this here. So oh, is, is that gonna be the alignment through there? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely perfect. So let's get it centered on this little bit here. Um, So I wouldn't mind using a four lane divided road at this point. And let's come off everything but road guideline. And we'll have it come up by 40. And we'll do some nice tree line and a decoration and whatnot around here. It'll be quite a lot of fun today, I think. I have no snap in here either. 
that will just feed this out. We will go ahead and get the middle with grass and trees. Then let's grab our National Art Gallery. We'll relocate it and let's have it, I would say hopefully essentially, but of course we now have the delicious world of Move It in CS2 available. So I can just manually drag that essentially myself. God, what a quality life improvement that is, isn't it, eh? <laughs> Who knew Move It was so important to the City Skylines experience? Cool, so I really like how that looks through there, right? We're starting to build some really nice layers now with our unique buildings and just orientation, oh, as always. Super important, isn't it? It really is. Uh, wonderful, so don't mind this at all. Let's come back to that small road now and we will grab... I think just snap to the sides of the building. Snap is the most appropriate here, isn't it? So this asset is covered in roads, essentially, uh, or car parks at least. So I want to make sure they're all connected uh, where it would make sense. And then probably also want that connection out here again, don't we? So let's go ahead and drag them off of cell length here so we can get in the middle. We can come up to 26 meters and we'll do that same thing here again. We'll have our trees and grass in the middle. And this should hopefully kind of really frame that National Art Gallery within the, um, the skyline here. I think that's going to give us a much more sort of custom skyline, isn't it? Rather than just endless towers. Because that's the problem I think with CS2 downtown to the minute is all this zoning looks really similar. Um, but kind of coming away from this now, I definitely don't want to transition back to these big office towers. This is definitely the peak of the skyline here. So with that in mind, I want to make sure when we're zoning up these areas now, which are pretty zonable, I think. Maybe possibly do with just reforming the road structure here just to get some better zoning so let's briefly do that and i think we'll surround the edge of the building here with some apartments maybe some lower density office as well it would be nice actually to have kind of a medium density office, kind of a happy medium here, wouldn't be too bad. And then maybe some mixed use as well. Definitely want to stick in the uh, North American style here too. Looks like we've got some layers to smooth out here as well with um, the art gallery, but we can do that no problem. I also wouldn't mind giving this, because this is quite a, quite a themed building, isn't it? I reckon it might pair nicely with a high school or something. Why don't we possibly have a look at that? Where is our nearest high school? It's college over here. It's multiple elementary. There's a lot of elementary schools, actually. <laughs> that is. Bourbon is like 50% elementary schools. Um, Yeah, I reckon a high school. Maybe if we could... I guess do we want it directly opposite? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Let's we'll see if we can break this frame open here. And then how about we go... We're about there. Or we could even just remove this zone entirely and kind of centralize it against this spine here. That way it might complement the main avenue a little better. Something like, do you not go there? No, but you can essentially fit perfectly there. And again, with move it, we'll just align him to be exactly where we want. Somewhere like that, I think. And then I think that should sit fairly nicely. We're almost kind of building like a mini sort of government district here, aren't we, in the downtown? Where you like where everything started to be dominated by all these towers as well. That's really what I wanted to achieve today. Cool. And then I think North American apartments, at least in, especially in this block here. Right, let's go ahead and get the rest of them in. Something along those kind of lines think is what I'm after. Uh, in terms of this space here, I think we'll do some nice park patterns through this way. Uh, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some large parks down. Um is a little too big. How about we have large city park here? Now, because anarchy is now a thing, connecting into these parks should be 
No, very much possible. Oh, yes. This was massively needed. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this forever. Cool, so we can now expand these authentic looking park spaces out, which should be quite a lot of fun, I think. We can have that there. God, there's a lot of parking here, isn't there? Well, parking on the road, rather. Uh, which is probably a bad sign. So why don't we have a look at some parking here? Now, there's a couple of different options we could go with. This overground parking structure is a bit of a chunk, isn't it? But will it fit here? I imagine Anarchy is probably allowing that to squeeze in, but if you won't tell, I won't. How about if we have that there? Have a multi-story car park. It sits very nice next to the um, act railway, doesn't it? Take a fan of that, actually. Hopefully that'll siphon a few of the cars off of the roads here. We could always remove the parking as well, of course, ourselves, which we might end up doing. Now we'll have to wait and see. And whilst that does continue to grow up, I also wouldn't mind providing just some street level parking for these apartments. If I can place it without destroying any major blocks. How about that one there? Uh, do we want to add anything onto the high school here? I think the extension wings are the obvious choices, aren't they? Although it looks like we do need anarchy on to get those to fit in. So let's do that on there. The track and field, yeah, just a bit too big and obnoxious, I think, for the downtown. We won't, we won't put that one in, I don't think. I also wouldn't mind including some of the chunkier service assets in here as well. So we could do the Central Bank and the Intelligence Bureau here. I think that's it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a server farm around here either, actually. That'd be quite cool for a downtown space. But either way, let's have a look at our new assets. So the Central Bank is another super chungus, isn't it? Let's have a look at this one. Have a look at how we feel about this. Yeah, that does complement the art gallery extremely well, doesn't it? Is there a possibility it would fit in this space? It looks a little big. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> it's absolutely, absolutely vast. But uh, of course, ignore this and we are just having a little look as to what it would look like. We will have the central bank in, but I just think here yeah, we're trying to force it in where it doesn't really belong. So I wouldn't mind some further height behind the high school as well. Um, I'd definitely like to factor in the textures here though. So let's do some larger office zoning on these corners. And then we'll use find it to grab some. Then I think we'll use tile surface number two to run a pathway straight through here. Just so it looks as though people can make their way up to the back of the high school in and around the towers which should also be quite nice and then if we leave we can also use invisible pathways as well can't we but uh does the normal pathway sit above the texture it does i honestly don't mind that i think the the differentiation in texture there is actually quite helpful so i think we'll let that run along the sides of the building make all this space walkable here cool I'm clipping into the asset does turn it into a bridge which I'm guessing is just issues with the terrain we're not on the smoothest slopes here the downtown is pretty rough around bourbon but uh, that's not too bad otherwise and we'll definitely detail this up uh, during our time lapse I guess and we'll also throw together some smaller hmm Let's go for mixed use instead, I think. We'll have some mixed use here. And then we'll get some uh, trees and whatnot through this space, although I don't want that zoned up as a smaller one, so let's get rid of that one. Cool, and that should help us fill out the back of our uh, high school a little better. Uh, I did also want to give a tree lining to the art gallery, so let's do that while we remember. I imagine probably adult oak trees is going to be my go-to. 20 meter spacing seems pretty nice actually. So let's do one there. Now, do you want to possibly explore some pedestrian connections here actually? And I feel like that might go nicely with 
the um, sort of walkway here up into the gallery, right, via this pedestrian pathway. Cool. Yeah, we are pretty, pretty teared up there, aren't we? So we'll definitely need to soften out some of the terrain here, I think. Yeah, we are pretty gnarly. And we'll bring these tree linings back, and this can hopefully just wrap all the way around the edge of that building now. And I guess we'll do the same thing over here as well. And it's slightly different on this side, isn't it? It doesn't really have the uh, entrance way, but we can make do without it. Let's turn off our cell length here as well. And uh, grid. We'll line this up manually, about there. Nice, and then we'll run these trees along the edge again. Cool. So that hopefully should add another little layer of fanciness to this area of the city now, I think. In terms of where we're going to put the central bank, um, I wouldn't mind... Yeah, I'm not sure where we're going to put that. Maybe over here. We do still have some undeveloped space by the um, medical university, so maybe we can get the bank out here. The bank is pretty kind of small in terms of a height, so that should actually contribute to the grander crawling height there as well. Probably put it over here, I imagine. Because like we mentioned, I think, last episode, um, I have kind of envisioned bourbon enveloping in Beneg at some point, so maybe we can use that as an excuse to do that. Cool, so we have a new tower in here. Um, so we can actually get access to the invisible car path now via Finder, which is uh, very interesting. Because we can use these to build, well, essentially custom car parks uh, around the edge of buildings. So let's do this one here. That does give us some parking space, does it? it does, but it's not remotely flat, is it? That's okay then. Maybe we can do it from the other side. Right, let's grab ourselves this one here and have our car park run there and then we'll change the invisible two-way so with these you don't want to have to connect them onto the road you always want to connect them to the, the sidewalk and then they'll walk that space there uh, we might have a tutorial up on the channel at some point about these invisible road networks we haven't really covered them before but uh, they are very useful uh, and then we essentially just want to paint in our own custom concrete surface around the edge of this where the cars will drive there we go we can see a bus coming down here which in all honesty probably isn't what we want <laughs> i don't really want the bus cutting through the car park but if anything it does give me a nice guideline of where to draw the concrete so we'll wrap that around there that does give us a bit of a car park there now doesn't it and then let's use some of our trees here as well just to flex this area out some nice trees up on the corner we'll probably do some bush lining as well at some point later on uh, maybe a little bit of color as well I feel like cities 2 is missing like a jacaranda or something miss the big purple tree from cs1 cool and then we can blast that out there and we could even go to the extent to find that tile service there as well so if we wanted to do a tile i'm not exactly sure which one it is the sooner the thumbnails arrive the better it's going to be but then just a little extension there as if it's where people that work in the office uh, would come and walk down here so definitely see one there as well to respect the fencing that's on the asset cool there we go so you can park up there then walk across into the office space so that helps us to detail our downtown areas a little more authentically i think doesn't it and we can do stuff like that I say it's one, it's definitely had its janky launch, but there's real promising signs of what the mods can do here. Right. Considering this is just Find It as well, like it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Find It is essentially Surface Painter now as well, with the way the services are working in CS2. No, I don't hate that at all, I don't think. There's a very long dog there as well, very nice. Off for a walk around the university rounds. That's a real intense slope, that isn't it? I didn't realise we were so sloped here. But uh, I guess it's better than being super flat and boring, isn't it? I suppose it is. But uh, that is a pristine new addition at the edge of the downtown there, isn't it? And what I would also like to do here is just uh, 
um, kind of envelop the road network now. I want to make sure it's all kind of boxed off. Um, so let's move into a little road time lapse. I just want to connect everything together and prepare these roads to meet up with bourbons um, well, in the next suburb. That helps blend uh, our two areas together here just with some road connections and um, i think next episode or at least an episode in the future um, which i do need your guys opinion on would like to include one of the more quirky assets um either the diet building here yeah, a little bit too eccentric maybe or something like the bell tower if you like or the nemadum here if i pronounce it right probably not but that's okay some kind of unique quirky asset here, I think, to sit on the hill, and we'll do a nice big deeds art park around it. So let me know what asset you think should sit up here. Either the Bell Tower or Nam Damon. Sounds a little bit like Matt Damon, doesn't it? So <laughs> let me know which one you think. I think the Bell Tower is a real eye drawer, isn't it? So maybe we'll have this one up here overlooking the city on the hillside. So that build will sit up here eventually, so let me know which one you think it should happen. But uh but that build will set up here eventually, so let me know which one you think it should be. Yeah, but either way, let's move into a detail and time lapse for today. Just want to settle everything in here. I'm probably bringing some more zonings around these new frames that we've drawn up against the main arterial. I get some more car parking down as well to get people off the streets. And just generally tidy up any inconsistencies that we're not happy with. Um, extend textures where it makes sense, bring some more tree linings in. And hopefully just settle everything into today's build a little more authentic than it currently is. Otherwise, we'll do some detailing, and then we'll be right back.
Okay guys, let's have a little detailing review, shall we, of the current additions to the east side of Verbin. So we just detailed up our roundabout and also used some of the sound barriers just as a bit of safety barrier action really, just on the outside of the roundabout with the bush lining and some gentle tree and rock action in the middle of the roundabout. I did end up switching this one out for just a one-way exit. There's plenty of other ways into downtown Bourbon, but people do just split off here into various different ways. And this is now just a one-way exit right out of the main street back into the roundabout. And there's something quite satisfying about us watching the networks of Edinburgh, especially all this like custom highway stuff. Are definitely one of my favourite aspects of Cities too. This piecing together slip roads and much more custom interchanges and kind of flow roads. Very satisfying. Uh, these local roads around here are also starting to get picked up by the AI now as well. And I will definitely save this space with that big park. So let me know what asset you think should sit atop the hill here to look out over downtown Bourbon. Uh, it should be a really nice park space this. So I reckon we'll do this whole build here as a big park area, which should be quite a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so then we come back in here. And I'm very happy with how kind of the layers are built in here. It's much more visible from the opposite side of the downtown. So if we were to come in this way and then look back up, you can really see that layering height in play here. Um, I'm really glad we didn't flatten out all of Bourbon because you can really see the rise up, can't you? especially with the row housing here. Everything's going uphill as you move toward the east here, which I'm really happy with to see that in the build. Uh, but then much more row housing through here. Uh, nice big forest boundary as well with some live oak linings on the way out of the city. Uh, more of our big fancy uh, American strodes here. Definitely the vibe I want to keep appearing around Bourbon. This is happening all across the city now. Big four-lane roads with lots of car parking outside of the commercials is really, really starting to come together now. Uh, the terrain jank does have its downsides. <laughs> you will get some 45 degree bins uh, building on the hillside like this, but you know, it's just a symptom. There's, those guys' calves must be screaming. <laughs> that was... No challenge at all for him, was it? So thankfully the Sims can still use it, but it's just a symptom of building on a hillside, unfortunately, to get some terrain junk like that, but it's mostly forgivable, as long as you don't get too close with it, really. And then we'll come down here, uh, over toward our park space here, where we just continue to develop these big green belts. And they're getting plenty of use now. Uh, there's still tons of dogs walking around to us, too. Like this person has got five dogs, has he? The old per I don't even know who they're with. I'm not sure either way someone's got five dogs uh, and then we come down here onto the main street where we have our big tree light art gallery now which looks super nice i'm really happy with how this all settled in especially from um there's a really nice perspective over here as we start to rise out of the settlement and uh, we've also dropped a unique building here as well which one's this this is the auto center uh, so it does give us minus one percent import cost plus one attractiveness I'm not massively bothered about the buffs here. Plus one percent is nothing. Like it's kind of a pointless buff in my opinion. Like either give it a good buff or no buff at all. Like no one's gonna notice one percent. <laughs> it's a little, little silly in my opinion. But you know, each to their own, I guess. And so this is just like a car retail place. It was actually fitted in quite nicely right on this street corner. Yeah, so we do have Ilety cars available over here now. And a real nice view up to that skyline here, isn't it? This is probably going to be today's thumbnail, I imagine. And then that high school blended in tremendously well. And then lots more American Strode vibes here. Tons of parking, which no one utilizes. <laughs> They're all still on the roads. So there are place car parks are getting a little bit of use. And so is the multi-story over here as well. Up to 46 cars now. So it was six when we first put it down, so... Slowly but surely, the AI is beginning to park in our provided multi-story. Really great shot there of the train passing by some of the new density. I really like all the elevated layers we've got going on around here now. It's not quite fancy, hasn't it? Uh, and then well, towards the back of our high school, uh, we've flushed this out with a little bit of a bush lining and then just some of those extended concrete textures where it makes sense uh, in and around our custom car parking spaces here. So um, let me know if you guys want to have a tutorial on some of these invisible road stuff because there's a few different configurations you can do. And um, if you haven't already seen it, Sully has an excellent video on it, but I'd happily provide one for our community if you guys want to see it from the egg's mouth, so to speak. And then this continues over here. Uh, just much more sensibly fleshed out areas, although this building has upgraded and now blocked my path work. <laughs> just a little bit annoying. But something I think we can live with the fact I think even the gazebo there 
that really helps out, doesn't it? So another tower into the skyline and blending it in. And this is really where I'm starting to find a lot more fun in CS2 uh, with all these custom car parks and decals and surfaces now and being able to plot fully grown trees. It massively changes the detail and aspect of the game. And um, for those in our Patreon as well, I've been debating starting a new CS2 city. Uh, just because I think Edinburgh has grown really, really quickly um, compared to our usual sort of pace of expansion. But I definitely don't want to leave Edinburgh behind, so we'll probably finish the city. And then we'll start a new one, because I'd hate to leave an unfinished build. We've always finished our cities on the channel, so I'd hate to just abandon Edinburgh. So we'll definitely finish it to a degree and really slow down during our next city, I think. Uh, which will probably be on a custom map, hopefully my custom map if I can ever get it finished. But either way, that does bring today's art gallery build and surrounding downtown additions to a close. I hope you have enjoyed the episode. If you have, those likes, comments and shares below really do go a long way to helping to grow the channel. Apologies for such a massive break on Edinburgh. Uh, the recent kind of annoyances with Paradox mods not properly working and the Beach Properties DLC just basically being pretty bad left a kind of sour taste and it wasn't particularly fun to record Cities 2. Um, by the time you guys see this, we will have early access to Mana Lords this week, um, so expect a lot of Mana Lords content on the channel going forward as we cover that game in early access pretty extensively. Um, I'm very excited for it, so expect that alongside our usual roster of City Skylines content going forward. Plenty to enjoy on the channel as always. Massive shout out to all the patrons supporting the channel. If you guys are interested in getting a little bit more egg in your life, there are links down to Patreon below where there's podcasts, previews and early access when possible. And then there's also the Instant Gaming link where you can get yourself a great deal that also helps support the channel as well. Otherwise, please do enjoy some cinematics back in Bourbon. I'm sure you guys... Otherwise, please do enjoy today's cinematics. But I'll shut up and leave it there. Let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.